Toronto School Sports Summary. Let's hear from our sports correspondents for an update. Hello and welcome to Sports Report. The netball teams this year have been very successful. This year's 7 A and B team are unbeaten this year. The year 8 A team have won all their games this year and although the B team haven't been quite so successful, they have given their all in every game. The year 9's teams haven't been successful but, but have been lucky in some games and deserve more. And finally, between both year 10 teams, only two games have been lost. And now over to Ben with the football results. Football this year has been a huge success. The Year 7 football team recently won the District Cup on Tuesday the 19th of March, beating Dame Alice Owens 5-1 in the semi-final and Monkswalk 3-1 in the final. This is a great achievement, especially as it is their first year at Chancellors. The Year 8s have done exceptionally well this year, getting into the District Cup final, which will be played on Thursday the 21st of March. They beat Hearts with 7-0 in the semi-final. They have also reached the County Cup semi-final. This is a great achievement. They also won the District 5 side tournament. The Year 8 team should be very proud of all their achievements. The Year 9 team have done well, as well as getting runners-up in the 5 side District tournament. The Year 10s have done really well this year as well, but haven't been as lucky as the other years. In addition to this, the senior team have also made it to the District Cup final. So if all goes to plan, Chancellor's Trophy Cabinet will soon be, soon be forward. I'm Ian and Sean, born at Lewis Beaton's rugby player and rugby school captain. So Sean, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, Sean recently played for Barnet Elizabethans at the new Saracen Stadium, Allianz Park, and even scored a conversion. We're here today to ask Sean how it was. How impressive was the new artificial pitch? The new artificial pitch was amazing. There was nothing like we've ever played on before, and there was no mud. And did you like the new stadium? The new stadium was really nice. It's not every Sunday that you get to play in a Premiership team stadium, so I really enjoyed it. Thank you for your time, Sean. Local Sports Roundup. Hello, welcome to the Local Sports Roundup, keeping you up to date with the sport in the local area. My main success story in the local area has been Saracens Rugby Club. Recently, they have built a move into Allianz Park, their new ground. It is the first rugby ground in England to have an artificial pitch, and they have also added a lot of new technology to their ground, as you can now order food and drink via your seat and have it brought straight to you. Saracens have also recently moved to the to the top of the Aviva Premiership, ahead of Harlequins and Leicester, and although they recently got knocked out of the LV Cup in the semi-finals, they remain in contention for the Heineken Cup. In other local sports news, Barnet FC are lying 21st in the Empower League 2 table, and although they are currently not in the relegation zone, they remain in the battle for survival and are not safe from the drop yet. Finally, Stevenage FC, the most successful football team in the local area, is currently lying 15th in the M Power League 1 table and are having a successful season by their standards and that is absolutely jam-packed with excitement. It's been you and a Matt and that was the local sports news roundup.